Thanks for joining me today. We've got a little job on. We've got the Hive thermostat and we're going to fit it to a glowworm combi boiler. If you've never fitted one of these before, you look at it and you go, oh my God, where do the wires go? It's not that bad. It's quite simple. I'm not going to waffle too much because we're just going to get straight on and fit it. Let's go for it. First thing to do, we're going to turn the power off to the boiler. In the box, it comes in two parts. The one we're interested in at the minute is the receiver. You've got the thermostat bit that you screw on the wall. The receiver is the, the end that goes to the boiler. Now in here, we get something that looks like this. We've got to undo the two screws at the bottom and take it apart. It comes into two pieces. So we'll pop the screwdriver in the bottom and we'll just whiz the two screws out. Don't need to go all the way. And then that will swing out and then the back should lift off like that. Now the bit we're interested in is this back plate. This bottom base plate here, it's got a, a little plastic bit where the wires are gonna come. We need to get rid of that. So we'll just get some pliers on that. And we'll just break that away. That's gone. Now the wires will come up there nice and easy. All we're interested in is neutral. We've got blue, we've got a brown for live, we've got the earth wire which is going to go over here, and then we're going to use the one and the three. We're not going to use the other two, we're only using one and three. Now the one and three are the thermostat break in the boiler. So there's a little jumper wire that we're going to take out and put one and three to those two terminals. Now, on some boilers, you'd have to take the front panel off to get at the controls where we need to be. On this one, it's got a little tab you pull down and it reveals the little power box here. We just need to open that up, which is a, a screw on the top there to get the front cover off. These aren't very tight, so I could just whiz it out with a, uh, a little bit there. We should be able to reveal what we're looking for. Here we go. Oops, there it is. So inside here, this is what we're after. See that little jumper there, which is connected to that port there. So what we're gonna do, this is your thermostat jumper. We're gonna take out that piece of wire there and we're gonna wire in as thermostat to that. Right, Let's. Uh, this is his little cable retainer here, which hasn't been wired in brilliantly in the past. That really should have been up a bit more, a bit shorter. Four screws holding this on, so we'll just twist those out. That's the wire retainer out of the way, and that's the plug out of there. I want to make that a bit short. I don't like them wires there like that. I want them to be that really. I want that down here so I can clamp that cable in. That would be a better solution. Now we're going to take the power for his thermostat from this plug going into the boiler. Let's just see how much room we've got in this connector block with his wires. So I've got some three core, one and a half wire here. I'll just trim that back a bit. I want to whip off the um, insulation of these as well. I'll put links for all the tools. These strippers are fantastic. They're in the description below. I'll twist those up. Watch you don't spike your finger on a sharp bit of wire. Oh yeah, wire. <laughs> and then let's just see if we can get those into this live is there can i get this in there as well is there enough room let's have a look oh yeah nice and easy beautiful well that's good so and then let's just screw that down make sure it's got it well yeah it's got both of them that's great so we can take his feed from this connector plug we'll do the same with the neutral undo we're going to do the neutral one. Pop that blue one into there. And do that one up. And, the other two. and then the earth is the same again. We'll just crack that one off. 
I'm going to slide that earth in. And then we'll do the earth one up as well. Beautiful. Alright, that's those three in there. If you can spur off of the boiler feed like that, you won't need to put a fuse link in at all. That's a perfectly good way to wire this up. And then last, not, last but not least is our little jumper wire there. We need to pick a spot to mount our thermostat to. Um, and on this one, remotely, uh, I think we could probably put it on the wall up here. So I just need to make sure that the wire is long enough to feed into it. And again, the same thing with the jumper wire, so I need another piece the same length. I'm just getting my wire strip on there, strip that back again. We're only going to use two wires this time, so I'll go with the... Uh, Cut the earth away, we don't need that. So we've got the, uh, these, are, these are just gonna be our switch wires now. So I'll strip those back again. Two outside. So we'll just pop that link out. And put us two wires in. Doesn't matter which way around these go, makes no difference at all. Make sure they're in there nice and tight. I'll do them back up again. There we go, jump a wire in. Now we can pull this back into the into the casing. So his first one was was that one there. Just pop the plugs in first, locate the wires where you need to, and then clamp it down. So there we go, we've got his wire all in there nicely, doubled up, and we can fold that back down again and trap those. It's absolutely lashing it down outside. You can hear the rain on the conservatory roof. And clamp it all into place, making sure that they're all lined up there. We'll be needing this central heating system uh, working well. Keep us bills down through the winter. And this high thermostat should work like a dream. Like that. We can have a screw back in the back to hold it together. We're nicely screwed up nice and tight now. We can pop that back into the boiler. Making sure you get the plug the right way, right way around, of course. Uh, no, it's the other way. <laughs> there you go. That's better. <laughs> Lucky for me, they only will go in one way, so no problem. Like so. Okay. Make sure the wires are out of the way. We put those behind the pipes. This is all going to be boxed in eventually, so uh, all this will be hidden, which will be nice. We'll just pop a hole through that uh, wooden batten. Okay, now we've got his back plate there. We've got the neutral live one and three is what we're looking for. So we're just going to undo the. We're just going to undo the plates a little bit there, just so we can clamp the wires in. gaps to put his wires through. So we're going to start off with the neutral which is the blue wire and we'll pop that in. There we go, that's in where it needs to be and we're just going to wind that down. There we go, so that's neutral in. Next one is the live which is this brown wire. I'm just going to Fold that in there a little bit as well, just to give us a bit more beef. And have that one in there as well. And then we'll do that one up. Like 
those two in. And then the earth wire. You don't need to earth this one. It's not necessary if you don't want to. It's double insulated, so if you if you don't want to earth it, you haven't got to. But uh, I've got the earth wire here, so I'm going to do it anyway. There it is. I'll do that one as well. Okay. So that's the first bit done. Now we've just got a switching circuit. And with this, like I said, we don't use the earth. I disconnected that, so I'll chop that off. We don't need it. And then our two switching wires. We'll just trim those down as well. And we're gonna go for one and three. One and three. Like that. And then we'll spin that round. Just make a couple of marks there on the wall where we're going to drill us holes. So we'll get the drill, pop a couple of holes in, a couple of wall plugs. And then we can screw that up to the uh, the wall. Now we don't need to do it very tight, just nice and gentle. It is only plastic. Then wires will become trapped when we put the front casing on, which will hold them in place. So we're not going to worry about them coming out. And we'll put the cap on the front. We'll just hook the top in, drop that down, and then screw that up. And then power it up. Flashing light, ready for action. I hope that's been a use to you. If it has, drop me a little thumbs up, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.